Hello and welcome back to a new video tutorial from Ion Software. In this introduction you will see the basics of node-based compositing, how tools are added to the composition and masks are applied to uh, existing tools. So let's start with this high-res photograph and an HD background and merging both layers together is very easy. Simply drag one output node of one tool to another one. Inserting uh, a transform tool via drag and drop allows you to rescale and reposition the foreground layer. This could be a rainy day, so let's insert a rainbow into this image. Uh, so, while well you can use the uh, gradient capabilities of the background tool to create the rainbow itself, um, it's not very easy to squash the image and deform it to get the rainbow you want, so eh, just delete it. And so let's start with a new background tool with a white color. Using the control space key and entering the tool's name, in this case a channel boolean, let's add a boolean tool to clear out the red uh, channel only. This can be done by leaving the red alone and set all other uh, channel drop-down menus to do nothing. I don't want to apply this effect to the whole image, so I use a polygon mask to restrict the effect to a specific area. Blocking out the shape very roughly, um, view the tool in one of the viewports, smooth out the points a bit of this polygon mask and apply some soft edge effect. Connecting a mask to a tool is very easy just by drag and dropping the output of the polygon mask to the effect mask input of the tool itself. If the tool has several inputs, like the boolean tool here, hold down the control key while drag and dropping to open a context menu. Technically, all image and color informations are in an RGB space, but using the color space tool it can be assumed that the image was uh, recorded and created in a different color space, in this case HSV, and you can use the color space tool to convert it back to an RGB. So, since we have our rainbow now, we can merge it over our photo. But you see that the red area covers the whole image and I use a chroma key to cut out this area. Like here, applying some soft edge to let the rainbow fade in and fade out and decrease the foreground's layer opacity by decreasing the value of the blend slider in the second merge tool. And node-based node compositing means that you can go back to the polygon mask in this example and adjust the properties of the rainbow shape while viewing the output of the merge tool. Hmm. The rainbow doesn't fade away behind the trees, so let's add an ultra key to create a mask for the trees and some parts of the hills here. Uh, there's no need to be very precise. In this case, we can use another polygon mask to uh, define uh, the shape of the hills here in the background, very roughly again, and use this mask as a garbage mat for the ultra here. Use a bitmap mask to get the alpha channel information created by the ultra here, applying some soft edge to it, and apply this bitmap mask to uh, the effect mask input of the merge tool. And now our rainbow fades behind the trees. Let's apply a rectangle mask to as a garbage mat input to the uh, chroma key, which cuts away the red colors of our foreground um, rainbow effect to fade to let the rainbow fade away towards the horizon. So basically, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and see you next time.